I'm walking into Rumfish owned by Guy Harvey. They have an aquarium in there so big that I can hop in and swim with their fish. So if you don't know who Guy Harvey is, he's a fisherman, an explorer, and a conservationist. Like me. Guy Harvey is a pretty big fisherman. Biologically, that squid on the pole is not real. You might recognize these two guys from the show Tech. They're the ones who built the aquarium we're going to be swimming. Let's check out the predator tank. Check out the lionfish and this cute little pufferfish. Lionfish are very invasive species. They've been taking over Florida. I say, kill them if you see them. Lionfish are taking over because people used to have them as pets and then let them go. So that's a reason I'm here to let your pets go free. Now we're at the juvenile tank. This is where they keep the fish until they're big enough to go into the bigger tank. It's adorable. Zoom into them, the camera. So do you know who Guy Harvey is? Yes. Can you tell the viewers? Yes, absolutely. So Guy Harvey, he is a professional fisherman or pro angler. He is also a really big conservationist, um, marine biologist, and a marine wildlife artist. All of the animals you see on this wall here are actually individual paintings that he's created. We just put them in one area for you to see, so you have a view of everything that could be out in the Gulf of Mexico. He's actually painted all of these in different paintings. Um, just put it in one area for everybody to see. Um, right now we're standing under our acrylic jade panel. So this panel is about four inches thick of acrylic, silicone and grouted on the edge. The front panel is about six inches of acrylic, also silicone and grouted on the edge. Inside of the tank, we have three artificial structures, so they're not real. The corals right up front here are not real, just because it would take a lot of work on our filtration system. So, no live corals for that reason. In the middle, we have a life-size mangrove piece. It's not a real mangrove. Um, this is the version or the size of one that you would find out in the Tampa Bay area. And then on the very end, we have our dock and pylon structure with our ladder for you to get in and out of the team. We will all fly. All right, guys, we're geared up to go swimming. Just to protect your face. I need to rinse off to get all the germs and bacteria off the skin. Yes. I don't know how I feel about getting in with that big moray eel. Get the surface. So over your head. This strap's going to go down your back. I looked over the moray eel's cave, and he is a lot bigger than I thought he was. They told me he was seven feet long. The water is pretty cold. It's really cool swimming with the fish. Lots of them swim up right to the GoPro. Swimming with all those big fish was a little scary at first, but then I got used to it. And it was really fun. I swim with fishies. How was it? <laughs> this is what the fishies are going to eat today. So, yeah, this is what they're going to eat today. About 5 o'clock, give them about 5 pounds of food. That's chopped up lancet, and these are sardines. Those are big so, sardines. They also get some pellets, some algae pellets. So then they look yummy. <laughs> this is a stinger off of a stingray. About a two foot stingray. So if you feel it, edges are smooth this way. 
and then they're sharp that way. Yeah, good so, for slicing and ripping out. Yeah, so that's why you want to do the stingray shuffle when you're at the beach. You shuffle your feet when you're walking in shallow water. Everyone better stingray shuffle out there. It scares away the stingray so this doesn't end up in your foot. So, <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> Swimming in the fish tank was really fun. One of the fish actually came up to the GoPro while I was filming. And... Like that cameraman. That's it. No, no. Subscribe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like us on Facebook. <laughs>